Hello friends. Today we are going to see the axis identification which is used in the CNC lathe machine as well as the VMC machine. The first part we'll cover the introduction. In second part, there is a type of axis, there is a linear axis as well as the rotatory axis. And the third part which will be cover thumb rules for axis identification. If you see in this diagram, we have shown the two axes that is a X and Z axis, which is mostly used in the CNC lathe machine. And other one, one more axis get added, that is a X, Y and Z axis here, which is used for the milling machine. Now, a part programmer must be familiar with the machine axes uh, to determine the coordinate as per the standard system. Programmer should be aware of the axes in order to formulate the movement of the slide in various directions for, uh, for writing the program. Now, standard axis system specify the relative position between the tool and the workpiece. In this diagram, I just shown one example of a CNC lathe. Here, there is a, always a relative positions which we have identified that or you can see that that is a tool and a workpiece. Usually, the workpiece is stationary and the tool is moving. Now, what is the meaning of that? When tool is moving, we can see here there is a rotatory motion. Here, there is a linear motion of the tool. Okay. And stationary means here we, will not, we are not moving the component anywhere else here in the lathe machine. You can see only the rotatory motion can be given. Then the axes of the machining centers are divided into two types. One is the linear axis, that is the X, Y, and Z axis, which are the linear axis. And the other one is the rotary axis, so which is uh, always identified by the ABCD. You can see on your screen. Then we'll go one by one. The first one is the Z axis. Now, in the Z axis, First, the Z axis is fixed for the main spindle. Okay, so you can take any machine, whether it may be a lathe machine, milling machine, shaper machine, right? Any type of CNC machine, if you take, in that case, Z will always fix for the main spindle. Here I am showing the example of the CNC lathe machine. So in CNC lathe machine, the horizontal axis of the machine spindle is set as a Z axis. Okay. You can see this is a spindle tool and a workpiece. So if I am showing this as a spindle, it means that it is very clear that this is our Z axis, which is a longitudinal axis in this case. Other example, you can see the vertical milling machine. So in the Basically, in the vertical milling machine, here also we can observe very carefully that the our vertical axis of that machine spindle is set as a Z axis. Then the positive Z axis we have to consider as well as the negative Z axis. So when the if you see, I will show you the example there. In this case, this is the example which I am showing for the lathe machine. So when the cutting tool is moving, right, away from the workpiece, or I can say that it increases the distance between the tool and the workpiece, then we always consider as a positive Z axis. In the negative Z axis, you can see the tool is moving towards the spindle, right? In that case, we are always considering the minus Z axis. Uh, one more example you can see in the drilling machine, 
the basically the upward direction is the positive z axis and the movement of the tool is, uh, into uh, i can say the in downward direction means that is towards the workpiece in that case we are set as a minus z axis or i can say the negative z axis so this is all about the z axis which will be always consider as a main spindle other one will go for the x axis in this case also if we see in this diagram i have taken the this as a milling machine here here also it is very clear that it is always horizontal and parallel to the workpiece or i can say the parallel to the surface also and uh, when the tool is uh, or i can say that it is the longest axis you can see here also this is the longest axis then it indicates the longitudinal travel of the work table here also i am just showing on the diagram there now when we are looking from the tools spindle or i can say that uh, um, the tool spindle to the column now okay this is a column and if you are looking towards this uh, column the positive x direction is identified as being the to the right in the vertical milling machine means if the operator is standing here then the right side of that will be always considered as a positive x and the left side will be always considered as a negative x here also one more example i am showing here as the lathe machine now you can see here when the when the tool is moving away from the operator right now in that case we have to always consider as a positive axis and when the tool is moving towards the operator in that case we are always considering as a negative x axis then we'll go for the y axis in the y axis as we know that they are, we have already considered the x and z axis after that the third axis which will get added which is always perpendicular to x and z means i can say that y axis is always perpendicular to x and z axis you can see in this diagram also now it is also horizontal and indicates the cross travel of the table you can see here this is the what we are showing the cross travel right now so i will show one more diagram here now in this case when the table is moved towards the column then we are always considering as a positive y and if it is moving uh, towards the operator okay in that case we are considering a negative y axis then we'll go for the next part that is a rotary axis from this diagram you can see that the rotary axis is identified as a a b and c okay now in this case a is the rotation around the x axis b is the rotation around the y axis c is the rotation around the z axis so first we'll see about the a axis now in this axis uh, rotary uh, rotary motion of the tool along the rotation if you, if i'm doing the rotation the clockwise rotation is considered as a positive moment and it is identified by looking in a positive x direction in this way if you see the next one as a b axis it is the axis of a rotatory motion or a rotary motion of the tool along the y axis here also the clockwise uh, rotation is considered as a positive moment and it is identi identified by looking in a positive y direction and third is also if you consider the third one is the c axis it is the axis of rotary motion of the tool along the z axis right now and the clockwise rotation is considered as a positive moment 
and it is identified by looking in plus z directions thumb rule for axis identification the axis can be identified by using a right hand and is known as a right hand thumb rule for axis identification just you can see in this diagram now z axis when you are considering the z axis is fixed but student always keep in mind that the z axis is to be fixed first before using this rule means it is very clear that the z axis is fixed as a main spindle axis and it is identified by the middle finger right you can see on the diagram also then your next is the x axis is then identified as a horizontal and parallel to the workpiece and this x axis is always identified by the thumb by the thumb fingers and the last one means that is a y axis the y axis is then identified by the index finger of the right hand so in this case the y axis is always perpendicular to x and z axis you can see on this diagram also now the next important point is that the positive direction of this three axis is along the outward direction of the fingers means i can say that away from the palm in that case we are always considering this as a positive but instead of if it is if it is opposite to that means if the negative direction of the three axis is always considering that when these positions all these position is moving towards your palm then we always considering the negative direction so this is a very easy way to identify the axis by using the right hand thumb rules so thank you friends